this algorithm is inspired by the foraging behavior of spider monkeys spider monkeys are actually the a particular species of monkeys which live in the deep forest and they have a very special kind of foraging behavior which is called fission fusion social structure they follow a certain social structure by which they do the foraging and this particular social structure is known as fission fusion social structure what do we mean by fission fusion i'll explain it just hold on for that but this particular kind of social structure helps them to forage to find the food source in very efficient way this particular kind of foraging behavior is modeled as an optimization algorithm and is used to solve very complex optimization problems so let me just explain first of all the fission fusion social structure means what do we mean by fission fusion social structure suppose this is a group of monkeys suppose this is a group of monkeys initially they start food foraging and suppose they found food here these bananas are the food and suppose they found the food suppose they reached at the food source right they found the food and after some time think of a situation when they started facing the food scarcity in that particular area in this particular area these number of monkeys are too many the availability of the food is less and therefore they find the food scarcity after some time after eating some food they find that food scarcity is there so now what is the common sense they follow uh, the monkeys follow is that they divide themselves into smaller groups smaller smaller groups they divide themselves into very some small small number of groups so this process is called the fission this process is called the fission and all these small small groups now goes to different different directions now goes to different different directions and different different food sources they found separately separately so now for this smaller group they have the less competition for the food food scarcity is now fulfilled here in the evening throughout the process, throughout the day they keep on making this fission process and in the evening they return at the same habitat where they used to live or same tree or same place where they live and this process is known as the fusion this process is known as the fusion now small small groups again fused in a single big group so this is called fusion and here there is a fission so in this entire day they are uh, keeping the this fission process and in the evening they do the fusion so this particular kind of social structure is known as the fission fusion social structure and this spider monkey optimization algorithm is based on this particular behavior now let me just explain you in more detail about this fission fusion social structure if you can see here just imagine that this is the initial group of monkeys initial group of monkeys or this is the habitat where they are there right usually these monkeys live in the group of 50 to 60 monkeys and they forage together whenever they find a scarcity of the food they divide themselves into smaller parts so let us start the food foraging in the morning they start food foraging so foraging begins in a single group here in the morning they decide among themselves a leader this is a female leader usually this leader is a female leader a female monkey becomes the leader actually in the swarm intelligence algorithms everybody is equal everybody is equal all the all the individuals are homogeneous this is one of the required condition in the swarm intelligence that the members of the swarm are all equal but here this particular member is the leader right this particular member is leader at the first sight it looks like deviating from the basic assumptions of the swarm intelligence but just hold on i'll tell you that this will not deviate this will not this is not against the uh, necessary condition for the swarm intelligence let us find that there is a leader now let me tell you that any 
एनी मंकी हु इज द बेस्ट और हु इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल और हु इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल हु हैज द इम्पैक्ट ओवर ऑल द मेंबर्स ऑफ द स्वाम और मेंबर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप इज द लीडर सो हियर इन आवर एल्गोरिथम दिस इज द इनिशियल स्वाम दिस इज द इनिशियल स्वाम एंड हियर इन दिस इनिशियल स्वाम विच एवर सोल्यूशन इज द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन विच एवर सोल्यूशन इज द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन इज द लीडर is the leader so every monkey is representing a potential solution and this leader is representing the best solution so i hope now you understand that whichever solution is the best solution is the leader so there is no concept of leader kind of thing means leader it is not index based leadership it is performance based leadership index based leadership means suppose this is the first solution then this will always be the leader then it is a index based leadership no matter whether its fitness is good or not fitness is better than others or not if it remains the leader throughout the iterations then this is called the index based leadership and this is against the principles of the swarm intelligence and therefore we we are not going to consider that concept but we are going to consider the concept of performance based leadership means any monkey or any solution whichever is the best whichever is the best will become the leader will become the leader so this is your leader the best solution so this is the global best solution and therefore this leader is also known as the global leader we will call this as a global leader we will call this leader as the global leader i hope i am clear up to here now global leader will check the amount of food every time whenever they start food foraging so every time it will check the food availability Uh, availability of the food uh, in that particular area so if he find if this global leader finds that for my this particular group for particular group this in this particular region this food is not sufficient means there is a food scarcity this food is not enough now the food scarcity arises in that case in that case the fission process will start fission process is start and fission this fission process the global leader will divide the entire group into two groups two smaller groups of equal size of equal size groups it will divide into two smaller groups now these two smaller groups will again have the leaders will again have the leaders this leader will be the best of this lead, this group and this leader will be the best of this group and therefore these these leaders are known as the local leaders this leader is the global leader and these leaders are the global leaders since this global leader will join one of the smaller groups and therefore one of the local leader will also be the global leader so whenever there is a scarcity of food the global leader divides the entire group into two smaller groups into two smaller groups in the natural phenomena there may be more than one group more than two groups initially but in for our algorithmic purpose we have decided that for every time every time whenever there is a scarcity of food that particular group will be divided into two groups will be divided into two equal size groups right now these equal size groups will start food foraging again independently independently but they will keep on sharing the information with each other via this local leaders means this local leader will share the information with each other so local leaders now will guide this smaller groups and they start food foraging will start food foraging so here you can sorry here you can see uh, that these these local local groups uh, sorry smaller groups will start food foraging in different different areas uh, and uh, here you can see now if this particular smaller group will again find that that uh, this particular uh, in this particular region for this smaller group the food is not enough then the global leader will divide global leader or the that uh, that local leader of the respective group will divide the uh, group into further smaller groups further smaller groups and this process will continue this process will be continued until the evening in the natural phenomena it is evening but here in our algorithm it is not evening it is not evening it is the maximum number of groups are formed you understand that there should be some minimum number of members to have a good swarm intelligence behavior 
usually it is around 10 usually it is around 10 numerically experimentally we have uh, done the experiments and we found that around 10 or 12 uh, uh, individuals are required to have in a swarm to have a good swarm intelligence behavior and therefore there should be some minimum number of monkeys in a particular particular group particular smaller group and therefore and therefore this if any smaller group will have minimum number of monkeys that minimum number of monkeys this is a parameter now now if the total total size of the swarm is fixed and minimum number of monkeys in that particular group is fixed then of course we can decide the maximum number of groups also so just imagine that there are 100 monkeys in the group and we have decided that every small group will have minimum 10 monkeys then it is clear that maximum number of groups can be formed 10 right so this condition may be based on the maximum number of groups or minimum number of monkeys in particular group so here we will check here with this process this fission process will continue till this condition and what is this condition that if the number of groups is less than maximum number of groups for example here in this our example when there are 100 monkeys and 10 monkeys are required in each group minimum 10 monkeys are required in each group then maximum 10 groups are formed so here if the number of groups is less than 10 is less than 10 number of groups is less than 10 then keep on doing the further fission process means keep on dividing but if the number of groups are already formed 10 it means now it is the time for the fusion so means it is the time of evening so if this condition is not satisfied then they will fuse themselves into a single group and the fusion process will occur and all the monkeys will return to the habitat or will return to the uh, to their home this is the complete process of their project foraging process the complete foraging process of the spider monkeys how they do the fusion and how they do the fusion now uh, with this uh, all this natural phenomena we need to think of certain terminology in terms of the algorithm so here you can see that this leader global leader i already explained you that anybody who is the best solution any solution which is the best solution is termed as the global leader the smaller groups best solution is termed as the local now the major question is this if not enough food or the food scarcity how to define the food scarcity in the algorithm how to define that this particular direction has or this particular place has not enough food for that particular group so this concept is considered like this let me explain this concept this very important concept that if the solution is not improved like it is it is similar to like artificial bee colony algorithm where if the solution is not improved up to a certain number of iterations then the bee becomes a scout bee so here instead of a scout bee if the solution is not improved up to a certain number of iterations we say that this is the scarcity of food we define this phenomena as the scarcity of food and in that case we will not do the scout kind of phase but we will divide the entire population into two smaller groups into two smaller groups and these two smaller groups will have a different update equations update equations i'll let you know further so i hope now you understand that global leader means the best solution local leader means the best solution of the smaller groups scarcity means if the solution is not updated up to a certain number of iterations then divide the then divide the entire the larger group into two smaller groups into two smaller groups and then again here then again if this particular small group is not updated if this local leader is not updated up to a certain number of iterations then again di divide it into smaller parts and so on and maximum number of groups i already mentioned that if the minimum number of monkeys uh, uh, are reached to a particular group then that uh, then the yeah, then the population will fuse itself and will make a single group will make a single group i hope up to here i am clear now let us define all the update equations what will happen in this global leader 
what the how the global leader is updated how the local leader is updated how the global leader takes the decision for the fusion or fusion and how the local leader takes the decision for the fusion and fusion and therefore accordingly there is a global leader phase local leader phase global leader decision phase local leader decision phase global leader learning phase and the local leader learning phase in this way there are total six phases in this algorithm total six phases are there, are there in this algorithm global leader learning global leader uh, update uh, global leader decision phase and so on similarly for the local leader right so let us uh, start the algorithm uh, so here you can see like any other uh, optimization algorithm the first step is the initialization process it is same like abc pso or any other nature inspired optimization algorithm so here the first step is initialization the population is initialized in the range sm min to sm max suppose sm min sm for spider monkeys so here instead of x we are writing sm sm is the individual solution is the individual solution or the spider monkey it represents the spider monkey or the individual solution so uh, this formula you already know that minimum plus random number between 0 and 1 multiplied by a maximum minus minimum so in this range we generate the population okay so after generating the population the first phase is the local leader phase first phase is the local leader phase and in this first phase initially initially this local leader phase is also the global leader phase because there is only one group and therefore local leader and global leader are same at this moment so this local leader phase is actually the global leader phase also only for the first iteration only for the first iteration after that it may not be it may not be so fitness value of each spider monkey is calculated at new position and if fitness is higher than that of its old one it gets updated otherwise not here the update equation is this now let me explain this update equation the new position new position equal to the old position plus a random number between 0 and 1 multiplied by this is the local leader local leader there is a local leader phase so local leader this is the local leader minus the current position plus a random number between minus 1 and plus 1 multiplied by a randomly selected member this is a randomly selected member from the that particular group from that particular group it is remember this is selected from that particular group not from the entire population from that particular local group and minus the current position so this particular term is for the social influence means this particular current position is taking inspiration from the random position here you can see this is a vector which which shows the direction which shows the direction from uh, let me just take uh, it is a vector it is a vector uh, from it is a vector from smi smi to smr smi to smr right so it means the correct current position is in current position is uh, influenced towards the randomly selected member of that particular group and since this member is a random member since this member is a randomly selected member so this member is not necessarily better than the ith position it may be worse also and therefore here the coefficient is between minus 1 and plus 1 it is same like abc where the current position is influenced by the randomly selected member and therefore we have the ch both chances that it may it may be it may move towards the randomly selected member or it may move away from the randomly selected member so by multiplying this random uh, number between minus 1 1 minus 1 and plus 1 we are giving the chance of both cases now this term is the local leader influence it is means the uh, it is like in pso the current position is influenced by the uh, by the g best so here it is influenced by the local leader this is the best solution of that particular group since you already know that this solution is this is your best solution local leader the direction is towards local leader so it is it is best this is direction towards be, better uh, best solution and therefore it is best and therefore 
let me just uh, this is your means ith solution is directed towards the best solution you already know that this solution is better than the ith solution or equal better or equal and therefore the coefficient is between 0 and 1 therefore the coefficient is between 0 and 1 uh, and this is the current position you can see this so this equation this equation means the current position is updated based on the local leader influence and the social leader influence right uh, this, this is the local leader phase now the next phase is okay of course this is the equation in the local leader phase that how how the uh, how the solution is updated that uh, for each member of the kth group we apply this phase using this algorithm here for each dimension is updated using this this probability this probability is called the probability of perturbation this pr probability of perturbation so this pr is a parameter i'll tell you that what will be the value of this parameter later so based on this this is updated otherwise it will remain same so this equation in the local leader updates uh, this local leader updates Uh, local leader updates based on this probability subject to this probability otherwise it is not updated so in every situation we are not updating every time we are not updating it sometimes we are keeping it as it is also and this helps in making the algorithm efficient algorithm efficient means it is it helps in making the algorithm faster now uh, the next phase is the global leader phase 